Endeavor OS is Arch based Linux distribution. It aims to provide an easy way to set up Arch Linux with a slick of graphical UI. So in this video we will dual boot Endeavor OS alongside Windows 11. Let's start the video after this intro. Preview. Let me show you the current specification of my windows. So as you can see I am using windows 11 home and version is 2.1.2. 2. Now let's talk about the prerequisite for installing Endeavor OS in your system. First thing is you must have at least 1GB of RAM in your system and other is a USB flash drive with at least 1GB of storage and another is you must have at least 30GB of free space in your SSD or HDD where you want to install endeavor os and guys last but not least and iso file guys you can download iso file of endeavor os from the description link and now here open rufus rufus is, rufus is used to create a bootable pen drive and in rufus you need to select your downloaded iso file of endeavor os and click on start guys it will take five to six minutes to create a bootable pen drive so i'm gonna fast forward the video and until the booting process is done Booting process is now completed. Now I am gonna close the Rufus and let me power off my computer and again I am gonna boot my computer into the boot menu. System is powered off, let me restart the computer and while booting the computer press F10 or F12 function key to go to the boot menu guys these function key may be different from computer to computer and now here you need to boot your computer from the USB and now you need to hit enter to boot your computer into the Endeavor OS My system is now boots up into the Endeavor OS. Now here you will see a welcome screen with an install page. Here you need to select select the installer button to open the Endeavor OS installation tool. And here you need to select languages and keyboard type. Just keep cl clicking next. Now you need to select manual partitioning and click on next. Guys the main wall start from here and guys you need to select your disk where you want to install endeavor os as you can see this is my free space it is about 62 gb now i am gonna install endeavor os in this free space now click on create and i'm gonna allocate 60 gb to this root partition the root should be at least 15 gb for a comfortable use if you have more space then increase the root size now here select ext4 and mount point slash and here flex type select root and in label you can give any name and i'm gonna give root and just hit ok and as you can see my root partition is created now it's time to create swap swap partition swap partition is act as a virtual ram if you have 8 gb of ram then create 8 gb of swap memory if you have 4 gb then you can also create 8GB of RAM. Now here I am gonna allow select file system as Linux swap and in flag I am gonna select swap and he in flag I write swap area and hit ok. Now both the partitions are now created. Guys you also need to create FAT32 partition which is about 500 MB. I have already created it so I am gonna add it. it. So here I am gonna select keep and here mount point I am gonna select boot slash EFI and click on ok. Guys uh, I already created this partition so you need to create a new new partition for this boot partition. Now uh, it will ask you to enter your name and password. So I am gonna skip this. 
now click on install to start the installation process guys installation might take quite a while it may take 5 to 6 minutes so be patient i'm gonna fast forward the video Installation is now successful, it's time to restart the computer. So I'm gonna restart my computer. Now you need to keep pressing F2 or BIOS key to boot your computer into the BIOS menu. In my case it's F2 and keep your ND OS at the top by pressing F6 and press F10 and hit enter, it will boot your computer into the Endeavor OS first. So this is the Endeavor OS bootloader, you can boot and into Endeavor OS or Windows from here, but I am gonna select Endeavor OS first and wait until the system boots up into the Endeavor OS. System is now boots up into the Endeavor OS and as you can see everything is working fine. Now let me power off the computer and boot my computer into the windows. So I am gonna restart it. Now in the Endeavor OS bootloader select windows boot manager and hit enter it will boot your computer into the windows. So guys my system is now boots up into the windows 11 too. Uh, by this way you can dual boot Endeavor OS alongside windows 11. If you like this video then give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Tech Jarvis.